right, let's talk more about um, a big story that really made national news this year. Uh, this was an anniversary for Jackie Robinson, his first home run, and then a very famous handshake called the Shuba Shake. Hopefully you know the story about George Shotgun Shuba and how they took that picture of him shaking hands with Jackie Robinson after he crossed the plate for the first time professionally. And Scott Prim, from the uh, from the print factory was a little bit of a part of what they're doing downtown. So get people up to speed. We have a statue coming up, right? Well, we have a statue committee that did an, uh, an outstanding job raising funds to get the statue made, depicting mm -hmm. Jackie and George for the day when they shook the ha shook hands and was considered a handshake for the century. A very famous handshake. That yeah. was the day that Jackie broke the color barrier and it was his first pro uh, minor league professional game. It's kind of fitting that we're at the Scrappers Field here, but absolutely, he hit a home run in his second at bat. George was the on deck batter and uh, he extended a hand out and congratulations. Congratulations to Jackie as he crossed home plate. Yeah, a very famous uh, handshake and very cool moment for Youngstown. He's from Youngstown, but they're going to put the statue in downtown Youngstown. So how yes. did you guys get involved? We uh, we actually did some some prints for the West Side Historical Society, and the, the pictures that they sent over that they wanted printed were pictures of George mm -hmm. from his childhood, uh, from his time with the Dodgers, etc. Okay. Uh, our graphics team had to up, uh, clean up the pictures in order to get those print ready so they would look good. They're really old pictures. They're extremely old pictures. Mm -hmm. These are 75 years old from actually the day of the game. A little uh, bit faded, a little bit blurry. Mm -hmm. Some of them were used as a bookmark, had lines going through them because right. George used them as a bookmark for you know 40 or 50 years. Uh -huh. uh, but we cleaned up the pictures, I uh, got the banners printed, and about six months later I had a visitor in my office and it was Mike Shuba, uh -huh. and he had tears in his eyes of how good we made his dad look. Well, and not so, only did you clear them up, because they were pretty blurry and make them into really cool black and whites, then you go the next step and make them into color. So how, many, how challenging was that for your company? Uh, for the designers, it was very challenging. Uh, Keith, who is uh, my lead designer, he, he put in about 30 hours just cleaning up pictures, adding color to every fan in the stands mm -hmm. uh, to find the exact royal blue from the Montreal Royals for that day. Uh -huh. Uh, just just so much attention to detail and the fact that we were able to recreate it and get them to as quality as they are mm -hmm. is just you know a testament to his ability. Scott brought one of these uh, to kind of show you guys and you could probably see it better on the pictures that he sent by email that we're going to overlay but this is really cool and so tell people where the pictures are going to end up. They won't be outside by the statue or will they? No no, no. these are these are pictures that they obviously designed the statue from. Okay. Uh, Mark Mellon is the sculptor who made the statue um, they based it off of this handshake photo. And what we're doing is we're working with Mike Shuba and the Robinson Group, which is CMG Worldwide. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna be doing canvas prints, posters, framed, uh, framed prints, et cetera. And, and it's all in an effort to raise money for the upkeep of the statue. So that way after the dedication day, we have uh, a means moving forward to keep it nice. How much are you proud to be of this project? Because I tried to explain to my kids, kids the significance of the handshake itself, and I'm not sure they really got it, but how excited are you guys to be a part of something that's so historic and so wonderful? I'm also a baseball guy. Yeah. I played growing up. I uh, love the sport. I mean, Ricky Henderson was probably my favorite player ever. Okay. So to see uh, the history of it, to know Jackie, to know like uh, you know his story, but to get a much more in-depth of not only the effect he had on his teammates, the effect he had on George, but you know his continued effect, mm -hmm. you know, 75 years later, it, it's uh, it's awesome. Yeah, and to see his son Mike with the tears in his eyes, like you said, I mean Absolutely. that had to really mm -hmm. hit, hit you right where it counts, huh? Absolutely. Oh, that's so cool. If people want to learn more about what you do, if they have some old pictures that they want you guys to do, what what could you tell them about the Print Factory and how to get a hold of you guys? Uh, you can go right online to our website, www.printfactorypll.com. Uh, you can give us a phone call at our store. Uh, and yeah, just what a cool Father's Day gift. Like if you have an old picture of somebody Absolutely. and you want to make it into a canvas uh, or something like that. Actually, a sidebar great story is uh, we got an email. Uh, the statue committee has a, an email site that they're able to, to receive requests from. Uh -huh. And it was a gentleman down in Lubbock, Texas, who has a seven-year-old daughter. And he said that, you know, I would love to purchase one of these pictures because mm -hmm. myself and my daughter are making a man-girl cave. And she is into baseball history. Oh my God. They went on eBay and mm -hmm. purchased a baseball and it was her choice as to what ball she wanted to choose. Uh -huh. And she chose a ball signed by Shotgun Shuba because oh. she likes the name Shotgun. That is so cool. So And then she we, got the story behind it. Well, we didn't have anything finished yet. And I had talked to Mike and it's like, what do you want to do? You know, this is awesome. You know, we ought to reach out. And so we sent her a, a free print for, for her man girl cave. And we got uh, an email back with her holding it. I mean, just absolutely smile from ear to ear. That is so cool. And it's really awesome because I have a six-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and it's just great to see the history is still being passed forward. It's you know? the most and historic sport we've got, the most romantic sport, that's for sure.